So here's uh, the, this is a new design with the A80 uh, Octa Core yep. in a new new tablet. What's going on here? Yeah, so this is, uh, if people were following us from, from CES and then following us also at the uh, Hong Kong Exhibition Fair, you know, we've been slowly introducing the, the 80 chip. So at, at CES, we had the development board, we had the Optimus board come out. And the Hong Kong Exhibition Fair, we also showed some uh, some new reference designs based on the 80. And this is the, the next generation. So now we're getting into uh, the stage of, of actual, you know, customer tab tablet samples. So this is a, uh, a really beautiful, really thin 9.7 inch tablet based on the, the 80, you know, an eight core, eight core tablet. Very thin, very, very light, uh, very beautiful screen. I mean, this is uh, 2048 by, by 1536. Uh, so, you know, this is basically, you know, the next evolution of some of the devices we'll see so it's based not on just 80. The, it's not just the basic retina. It's, uh, you, you can say it's the iPad Air retina, right? Right, right, right. It's uh, with thinner bezel. Mm -hmm. Thinner bezel, yeah, because you'll see here, if you if you remember from last year, some of the 9.7-inch screens, uh, you know, a little bit of a thick bezel. But with this, you can see... A thinner bezel, much much nicer, much uh, much thinner. Um, you know, it's a it's a better experience. And a thinner device overall, also. Is yeah. that because of the screen? Uh, the screen has has a little bit of an effect, but you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of design considerations that are that are uh, that are that are important. So, like the size of the PCBA, you know, just being able to design uh, uh, you know thin PCBAs. Does it require also more expensive batteries somehow, like thinner batteries somehow? Yeah, I mean, it really depends on the, the, the implementation, but, uh, you know, battery size is very important. Something like this should be able to get in, uh, you know, a little bit under 8,000 um, 8, 8, um, yeah, milliamp hours. And, and uh, how good is your battery life with the 8,000 battery? Yeah, so I mean, at at the Hong Kong uh, Exhibition Fair, like we we announced, we were, our our goal is to get kind of close to eight hours of video playback. So it really depends on on the video brightness, uh, or basically on the the LC brightness settings. Probably uh, over over eight hours is, is safe to say in something like this. So that that's conservative, you know, optimistically speaking, uh, longer and continuous video playback time. So we're talking eight hours. Can you show some kind of a thing showing how the you you have a. A special thing you're showing uh, the performance or what are you showing yeah sure sure what is this so I mean we have a we have a bunch of different uh, demo applications on here yeah so I'll open up one of these which is uh, take a look this is leaf dream so let's take a little bit of time to load up and switch this back here um, so as you guys know the the GPU on, on the 80 is a 64 core uh, 6230 from from imagination and there's a lot of good things with the GPU it's very strong a lot of good graphics performance and benchmarks like GFX bench 3.0 uh, the T-Rex 1080p off-screen performance is really high and uh, what this demo is this is a demo uh, using a new a brand new API that, that's on the, the GPU so this API is OpenGL ES 3.0 so what you should be seeing this year is we should be seeing a, a lot more games come out into the market that are that are using this this API, uh, and what this means is using this API, uh, these new games they can basically uh, create more real world and more lifelike experiences, uh, more lifelike 3D 3D gaming experiences uh, without really taxing the performance of the device. So what you'll see is smoother performance, you know, more realistic performance in games. Uh, so we think you know a, the 80 chip, you know, the 80 platform is really gonna deliver great performance of, of you know newer games that should be coming out in the market this year and uh, do you have some uh, do you have a you can you show like what is this one yeah let me go in here and uh, and open this up so what we've done is uh, if you go in here like we've created a tool that can kind of record that can record the uh, the utilization rate of different CPUs so if we'll go through here you can see this is uh, uh, this shows basically the record of of doing something like opening up a browser, right? So what we did is over the course of 34 seconds from the main menu, we went and opened up a browser, Google Chrome. And um, what you can see here over time, these are the A7s from zero to one to two to three. These are the A7s. And then you can see here, this is the, the A15 spiking on and off. So the A80 is interesting because it has big little. Uh, so it's a very advanced power management system. You can use the A7s for, uh, for low intensity workloads. Like up here, you can see when the when the system is just running the main menu, when the system is just running the main menu, you know, you're using the A7s, it's very low power. But when you get into situations like this, like what you see here in the spike, what you see here in these spikes, uh, it's like loading up an application. So you're loading up the Chrome browser and you spike up a little bit. 
Uh, and then here, maybe you load up a certain web page and you and you run all the image rendering tasks, and it spikes up, and then they uh, and then they fall off. So Big Little is very is very flexible. So uh, it's, it's showing the advantage of your design, yeah. showing the advantage of in terms of performance and power. This is what you can see. Like this is what we ran it off of. So what this is, this is showing, you know, basically the the current. Uh, frequency rate running on the CPUs. So this is from these are the A7s. These are A15s. It kind of shows you as as you go over here. You know the the different CPUs like spike on and off. So most of the time, you know, it's really a lot of people talk about power consumption as as an important part of a tablet. And you know, being able to run the basic task the basic tasks on the A7 is actually really important. And being able to run the more intensive tasks on on the A15, like loading up applications, uh, that's important for getting performance boosts. All right, so. Uh... Uh, and you're working together with Anaro also to yeah. optimize all the latest technologies with ARM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That, that's good news. I mean, the 80. We talked a lot about tablets. Like the 80 is going to be a strong, strong chip in tablets. But we also see a, a big market in, in home entertainment. Like uh, as you mentioned, we're one of the founding members of uh, Lenaro's digital home group. Uh, so you know, we're really working to make sure, you know, uh, you know, we start to be be a little bit more uh, of a contributor into the open source community. All right. Uh, so, how soon can everybody buy this one? Uh, yeah, this is uh, like like I mentioned. If you guys have been following us from uh, from CES up to Hong Kong Electronics Fair up to today, you know we got the chip back at the beginning of this year. You know we've been testing, debugging, verifying. You know we had a first round of reference design samples, and these are some some newer customer samples. So we're probably looking, uh, you know, mass production within you know within a month or so, within a month plus for from some customers. Uh, you know, and then into August and September, we should, we should see even more, more customer models come out. Is this extremely stable? Like everything, there's no bugs or what? Oh, uh, you know, we're still we're still working this. If it was if it was perfect, it would be mass produced mass produced right now. You know, it'd be be out in the market. So, uh, you know, product development is a process. So, uh, you know, uh, still still working on what everything. What goes into product development? What are you doing like every day? What goes on? Yeah, so uh, w what we do in internally in all winter to, to make sure, you know, great products come out in the market, or specifically with higher end products like this is, uh, you know, we make sure when the chip comes back, you know, we do uh, the right amount of verification, you know, verify the, the logic and the circuits. And then you also have to, on the hardware level, when the, pl when the early initial platform uh, samples come out, the hardware, you kind of have to, uh, debug those and kind of revise the schematics and make sure all that uh, is, is is good for customers. And then when that when that reference design material is more mature, then you know we can kind of enter into the next stage of uh, of working with customer designs. So that's kind of how how products uh, are developed in, with, but through through our system. You do that in like record world record time. All this every time you go to a new processor that comes out. Does that mean you have the best guys in the world doing <laughs> this? Yeah. No. Our engineering team is, is awesome. You know. I'm. I'm I'm grateful to to have a great engineering team uh, at All Winter to you know to be here today and kind of kind of show off this product. I mean, there's a, there's a work that, there's work that comes from hundreds of guys in, in All Winter to get something like this to this stage, and um, you know we're we're just you know we're 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 a young company but very but very active in this market. You know we've been the, the market leader in Android tablets since the beginning. You know, Which is crazy. Early in 2012. It's crazy, no? Yeah. I mean, the young company like that just being number one. Yeah. So I mean, that's just. It's just uh, a lot of that comes to comes from our familiarity with the with the Shenzhen market. So you know a lot of tablets, basically, you know most of electronics are manufactured <coughs> out of Shenzhen, right? So the founders of our company, you know, have a lot of experience in you know in dealing with this ecosystem and making sure products are designed for the ecosystem and making sure you know we take care of our manufacturing partners to make sure they can manufacture quickly and at a low cost. And uh, so they're good at having meetings with them around tables and talking and saying you make it and they'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not necessarily that that forceful, right? Uh, you know, we we make sure we bring, you know, we, we do our best to bring uh, valuable products to market, like the A33, a higher performance product at a, at a lower cost range for for customers. Uh, you know, people, you know, if you if you make valuable products like that, people are going to be more interested in working with you. So, um, you know, it's, that's that's cool. part of our. Part I mean, this looks really nice. How heavy is this? Um, I would say this is it. Is it um, I would say it's, than it's iPad more. Air? I would say it's m m heavier than, than the iPad Air. Exactly how much heavier? I'm not sure. Like between between 500 and, and, and 600 grams. But it's uh, very nice. So cool. Yeah. So yeah. can I have this one? Or no? <laughs> no? It'll be one? available soon. Okay. It'll be 